Situated in the heart of Worcester, the Bradbury Centre offers a huge range of educational and social opportunities for people with sight-related difficulties in a safe and supportive environment. Sight Concern Worcestershire is a county-wide charity dedicated to supporting blind and partially sighted people to lead independent and fulfilling lives. Uh, my role is a rehabilitation officer, so I work directly with clients. I run courses in Which Way Now, Cookery, Sight Loss Awareness and Online Today. I've worked at Sight Concern since I graduated about five years ago. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Every day is a challenge. And the thing I enjoy the most is seeing a client come in and, and just blossom and be fully independent and to walk out that door their head held up high with a, a new range of skills to enable them to cope with daily living. I would say um, each year we approximately um, see about 500 clients who are new to sight loss. Some people might have had sight loss for some time and have chosen to access us at the time they did, whilst others are very new to sight loss. We see them and contact them either by telephone, in person, on one of our courses, in one of our low vision clinics, or some people may just decide to email us or a family member may decide to contact us. And we deal with all sight impairments, no matter how well known or, or how um, not so well known. Um, most of our clients will have common eye conditions such as macular degeneration, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy and cataracts. However, we have uh, clients who are very young with sight loss and they have more complex problems and things that we haven't heard of before. Even if we've not heard of these eye conditions, we can still support the client. We hold our low vision clinics, clinics roughly every two weeks. We ha hold them here at Sight Concern in the centre and we have four outreach clinics. We have one in Malvern, Kidderminster, Bromsgrove and Redditch. Um, a lot of our support here at Sight Concern is one-to-one. -one. Often clients will need to come in and they might be a little bit distressed or upset. Therefore, one-to-one -one support would be better and our support is very bespoke. We can offer this out in people's homes or here in the centre. Uh, if you make contact with Sight Concern, we can arrange appointments for you. And it's important to remember that um, even little difficulties that you think are not important, um, they can be important. If they're important to you, they're important to us. I was diagnosed many years ago, I should think, when I was a teenager, but I wasn't told. In those days, you just went along to the opticians, and I got some literature through the post in my 30s telling me I had this condition and I could I answer certain questions. I went to my optician who then sent me to the specialist who explained the condition to me and what to expect. Um, retinitis pigmentosa, they, they refer to it as just RP. Um, you usually either lose the peripheral or the centre and then gradually just gradually gets worse. Uh, I was told by the specialist I wouldn't lose my sight completely unless another condition sets in as well. It's more like a jigsaw. I've got a lot of pieces missing and now those pieces are joining together so the, the dark areas where I can't see are getting more now and I'm just left with a little peripheral vision in the left eye at the bottom and about a quarter vision in the right eye at the top. Oh, a great deal. To meet people straight away, I'm in the shock of being told that you would be visually impaired. Um, your family is very good. They sort of wrap you in cotton wool, which is the wrong thing to do in a way, but of course people do this automatically, bless them. Um, going along, meeting other people, talking about different things in different aspects and how they manage and what they do. Um, it was a godsend, to be honest, someone to talk to and someone who understood where you were coming from and what you needed and so concerned, they offered so much. As I said, many doors closed for me, but a lot of doors opened because of sight concern. I just moved on to a new chapter. 
the first time I hit that ball, I was hooked. Because I've always been a sporty person, and like I said, because of my sight, I had to give up so much. I used to jog a lot and everything, and you know, not cycling, um, dancing. So I thought, try it, you know, because my husband played golf. There again, sight concern. They started up a little six week course, anybody interested? And I thought, oh, another door opening, try it. Life's for living, and just because you've got a sight condition, it doesn't mean to say you've got to stop wanting to do things. I play cricket. Um, that I've been doing for 12 months for the visually impaired and, and that's absolutely brilliant as well and occasionally I go horse riding. I, I try to garden still and I do an awful lot of walking with my guide dog, Ooh, probably over two hours a day if I can. Um, I love walking with her. Um, there again, I do cricket and the golf. I go to the gym twice a week and I love the gym. But it's mostly the walking, the golf and the cricket I, I enjoy in gardening in the summer. Sight Concern is here for us. But I know I can ask anyone at Sight Concern, I'm having difficulty with this now, this is changing, can you help me? And they will come up with something or they'll look and find something for me to help me with the changes that's, that's going on. And in that way I think I've got more confidence because I know now I've got someone I can ask who has got the answers. At first you think, oh gosh, it's a big world out there, where do I go, who do I turn to? Your family don't know the answers, you know. So it's good. So we, we know at least this base is here and we can come here and it helps with your confidence and enormous love to know you're not on your own. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to knock it in, kids, all right? Yeah. Okay. Hey! <laughs>I feel that Sight Concern is such a happy place, especially in the art room. There's so much banter going on. Um, I've been a volunteer for Sight Concern about 12 or 13 years now. I help in the art room. Uh, I started just mixing paints and fetching and carrying, doing coffees. We've had some younger people coming and they especially, I think, benefit because they're used to being in out in the, the workplace and maybe their eyesight's failing so they become a little um, down, not feeling so good, but they come here and realise all the possibilities there are still for them. And yeah, I think it really lifts their spirits. Yeah, I think it's very, a very positive place. I didn't do art until I found out about one of the classes and, and then I was encouraged by several other people to try it. I love animals and most of my paintings are animals and oh it relaxes you so much when you see something you can think I can still do something I'm I'm doing this is the new book in my life this is the new chapter I was meant to do this this is great and it, it's just a lovely feeling to know that not everything is stopped you can move on to something else and find a new way of going forward have you been diagnosed with sight loss and would like more information? Do you need support or advice about how to remain living independently with sight loss? Is sight loss preventing you from socialising and staying active? Sight Concern can help. Call 01905 723 245 or visit our website at www.sightconcern.co.uk or email us at info at siteconcern.co.uk for more information. We can provide training and we can help to break down the barriers associated with site loss. Site Concern, we can help.